with George St. Pierre. Huge Im UFC fan. Thank you. You lost to Matt, uh, Matt Hughes. Yes. And then you beat him for the title. Yes. That moment when you came back from that loss, how did you feel? Well, I, I always believe that you don't recognize a champion of how, how he win. You recognize a champion of how he come back from a loss. And you recognize the character of a person in, 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 uh, in adversity when you face an obstacle and you have to, to, to change himself to, to overcome the obstacle. And uh, I think it's, uh, that's how you recognize uh, the character of an athlete. In MMA, you always see the guys hug afterwards and be courteous and nice to each other. I mean, you, uh, for me, I always think you take the extra step. Is there anybody that you fought that ne like never wants to talk afterwards? Or? Yeah, of course, there's some guys I'm, I don't want to be friends with because they've been very arrogant and they say very bad stuff about me. But for me, it's a sport and it's a business. So I don't need to, to put emotion into the fight, you know. I, when I fight normally, the guy that I'm fighting is probably one of the guys I like the most in the whole arena, you know. Because he does the same job as me. And if he would not have been there, I would not have made money with, with, with the fighting uh, sport. So I'm, I'm glad, uh, you know, to, to do this. I know this with you, no matter who you fight, you always tend to focus on their strength. Is that something you do on a regular basis? You train jiu-jitsu? Uh, wrestling and grappling all the time or is that just specific to that fight? I'm an I'm a overall athlete, I'm a well-rounded uh, martial artist but I, uh, of course when you fight someone you try to, to fight him to, to bring him outside of his comfort zone that's always the, the, the game plan. Alright, thanks George, St. Pierre. Thank you.